Nun Savit is a beautiful country. It's open coastlines. It's beautiful territory. Once you come here, it holds on to you. The land and sea are important to Inuit because it, it provides not just food, but culture. It allows us to, to live in a way that not many people understand anymore. You can go out and, and pick up a meal of fish, um, different kinds of fish, char or raw cod. You hunt and pick berries, and it's just that whole sense of self-right and freedom. In Nunatsavit, there are five communities. The Nain is the biggest community along the north coast, and it's the furthest one up. It is a mix of Inuit and, and settlers, and everyone knows everyone. You know, there's a lot of friendly faces all the time. A lot of family connections, a lot of connections to the land. Through this expedition with Oceana Canada, we're ensuring that we're able to bring more sound information to the table when we decide what's important in a marine plan. It's a whole lot of things um, that you need to consider. And doing it right is really important. And I think this is where it becomes even more important to understand all of it, including the science. Understanding what's at the bottom of our oceans is extremely important in helping us understand health and getting baseline information to help us into the future. This partnership with Oceana Canada and the Seattle government certainly supports that. One of the objectives of Oceana Canada is to use expeditions to advance our knowledge of the oceans and that knowledge translates into wise management and conservation action. But we only do them in places where we can add value, have an impact, but also are invited in by the local communities. Part of the objective here is to help inform the map of it process. We've targeted areas that have been identified through traditional knowledge from the Labrador Inuit as important areas. And when we've dived in these areas with our remote cameras, what we're discovering is some very spectacular habitats. And so we went to three main regions, which are Hebron and Okak and uh, around Nain. Managing these waters is tremendously important. We can't manage what we don't know. One of the big threats, of course, in the Arctic and Northern waters is the threat due to climate change. One of the things we've learned about this expedition is how rich the coastal waters in, in Labrador are and how intimately connected to that rich and abundant life the Labrador Inuit are. So it is really one ecosystem and that system includes the people. We strive to learn from traditional knowledge and learn from the types of science we've applied in this expedition so that we can better manage our oceans. It's really hard to put into words how important it is to be able to hang on to your roots and hang on to your culture. I think the only way to be able to instill that in younger generations is to keep practicing your cultural ways, to keep passing on the knowledge and keep ensuring that there's an understanding of why we're Inuit and why Nunat Salvat is formed and why a marine plan is important to, to all of that.